I'm Shira with Tiny Talkers. Let's learn some science for Halloween. So we'll start with Halloween. There's a couple ways to do this. This is my preferred way. It's just covering your eyes like that. Halloween. And happy. It's like that. So happy Halloween. And then on Halloween, we usually have pumpkins outside our door. So you're basically gonna show the pumpkin like this, it's a melon, and you're testing the ripeness of a melon. So in this case, it, the melon is a pumpkin, so you can sign Halloween melon if you want to differentiate, so pumpkin. And on Halloween, we often wear costumes. So usually the way you sign that is just to sign clothes, which is your thumb, like that. So just uh, two thumbs down showing clothes. And so you can say Halloween clothes for costume. Lots of fun things that happen on Halloween. We see uh, lots of costumes and lots of decorations. For example, ghost. So you're gonna take two fingers and two fingers and just show the spirit of a ghost rising up. Ghost, we might see skeletons. So you're gonna take two fingers, these look like the bones of a skeleton, and just tap like that, as if you're showing the, the bones of the skeleton. Witch, so you can take your pointer finger like this and just show a witch nose. I've also seen it done where the witch nose comes down and touches this finger, but that's a little tricky. So witch, trick or treat, uh, so there's a fun way to sign this, which is to show the door and then the knocking on the door and then to sign bag. So trick or treat with your bag. Another way you can show trick or treat for young kids is to sign candy, please. There you go. Candy, please. Monster. Just like that, monster. And some of these things can be scary. So scared, you're just taking your hands and moving them in front of your body like this. Scary. Happy Halloween.